Hello from Cape Lookout, North Carolina. One of the most beautiful places to come do an overnight camping experience if you don't mind roughing it. There's not, there are some facilities on the island, but you'd have to walk a ways to get to them, but it's not a big deal. This is where the uh, ferry would let you off and you would just walk right up this little walkway and I'll show you once we get up there what you do then. So you'll be coming from that direction and you'll just come right up here. This is the visitor center. The bathrooms are up here. You can uh, also rent some ATVs to ride around the island. It's recommended to um, rent the ATVs and ride all the way down to the end of the island. That's where all the great shelling is. But they've got a bunch of ATVs there, restrooms. And then you're gonna walk this direction down this path. Okay, so you come up the path and there's the lighthouse. You can go up around the lighthouse. There's all kinds of historical markers to, to read and find out about all this beautiful place. This, this is a beautiful place. So you'd go to the right to go over to the keeper's house and then you would come over here to the left and walk the boardwalk down to the beach, which isn't a very long walk. It's a really pretty walk down through here. There are red cedars, cedars, no, red pines. I don't know. I think pines, not cedars. Maybe cedars, I don't know. But there are benches along the way to rest. If you have some elderly people in your family that maybe want to take this trip and experience this, but need a little rest along the boardwalk. It's really very peaceful and very pretty. I highly recommend it. So we didn't, we haven't done, this is our first time doing this. We did a Shackleford Banks last time and we hauled a wagon in. So this time we decided, let's try it without the wagon. We'll backpack everything in. And in the end, because of this boardwalk, really we could have brought the wagon. It probably would have made things a lot easier for us. And we could have brought more stuff. You know, when you backpack in, you gotta, you're kind of limited what you can bring in for the night. So here's the little road. You can actually ferry at a different spot and bring your vehicle onto the uh, onto Cape Lookout and camp. So if your vehicle is set up to do camping, you can uh, come on the Cape Lookout and camp. Take your vehicle right up on the beach and camp. So this is the last little boardwalk up to the beach. There's another set of out. These are more like outhouses. They're not running water. And here you are on the beach. This is the lighthouse area, Oceanside Beach. Very easy, relatively easy to get to. I mean, if you're hauling a bunch of gear, you know, it might be a little bit of a challenge once you get out here on the beach, but hey, if you're hauling a bunch of gear, you're the type of person that that's not a challenge. So I asked at the visitor center when we arrived, is it better to camp on sound side or on the beach side? And they, they highly recommended the beach side. They said the sound side, the tide will come right up on you. So obviously you don't camp in the dunes, but we've set up our tent on the uh, ocean side and we were well away from high tide. So it worked out great for us and we loved it. We'll definitely be coming back. Bare wood on the ground. <laughs> and we're going to make a fire because we were too lazy to carry our own wood in. It's just too heavy with everything. It's just way too heavy. Let's see if I can get that. 
in my hand. There we go. He's already on his way down there. We found a little spot where we can make a fire. We've always wanted to make a fire on the beach. Look. Moon's out. We almost have the whole beach. To ourselves. It's just so pretty and it's just such a beautiful night. The wind's just enough to keep any bugs away so we don't have to contend with any bugs. And the temperature's perfect. We're not cold. We're not hot. It's just awesome. It's just awesomeness. The only thing that we're worried about is poor little Madison at home alone without us. But she'll survive one night. So let's see. We found this little area where we can sit. And we found all this wood on the beach. So we're going to see if we can make a fire. Look, we got our fire going. It was not the easiest thing to get the fire going on the beach. But we didn't haul any wood in. We scavenged all of it. So that made it even that more successful for us. We've always wanted to have a fire on the beach. We never did it. So here we go. Look at our scrap pieces of wood are still scrapping. It's just perfect for us. It's just who we are. We find scraps and we keep them scrapping. <laughs>